In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the All-in-One SEO Chrome Web Browser extension. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So before we can use the All-in-One SEO Chrome extension, we first have to get the Chrome extension. I'm going to go ahead and type in Google Chrome extension. The first link that pops up will be the Chrome extension store. I'm going to search the store for AIO SEO. And the very first extension is the one we're interested in, the AIO SEO Analyzer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to click the blue button that says Add to Chrome. And then I'm going to give it permission. And I'm going to add the extension. And now it's telling me that AIO SEO Analyzer has been added to Chrome. So after you've got the AIO SEO Analyzer Chrome extension installed, next thing you need to do is pull up a web page you want to analyze. Any web page will do. I've got AIOSEO.com pulled up. You can recognize the AIO SEO Analyzer extension because it's got our all-in-one SEO logo here. If you don't see it for some reason, it could be because you have multiple extensions installed like I do. If that's the case, click on this little puzzle piece here, which will show all of your extensions and make sure you've got the AIO SEO Analyzer extension pinned. You'll notice when I unpin it, it's no longer in the toolbar. And if I pin it, it's back in the toolbar. So we want that pinned. So now that we've got the extension, let's go ahead and dive in and use it. It's actually very simple. You just click on our all-in-one SEO logo and it immediately analyzes the page you're on. So there's a couple of tabs. You can see them up top. The first tab we're on is the overview. First thing we see is the title of our page. It's giving me a score of 70, telling me it's 61 characters long. And for our description, we're only getting a score of 50, and that's because it's a little bit too long at 161 characters. It's telling me my URL is indexable, and it's telling me the URL is also canonical and is a self-referencing canonical URL. If you want more information about anything, a lot of the items have a little gray question mark. You can hover over that, and it'll tell you what canonical tags mean in this example. Above that, it'll tell you more information about a URL. Below that, we have keywords. It's saying not set, but if we hover over that little gray question mark, it's reminding us the keywords are not really used anymore. So it's okay that those are not set. Below that, we've got information about the robots meta tag and the X robots tag. It's telling us we have the robots meta tag in place. It's telling us we're missing the X robots tag, probably because we're using the robots meta tag. It's telling us the language of this website is English. The word count is 1307. Character count is just over 9,000. And then we get a really cool little breakdown of all the headings tags in this page. I've got one H1 tag. That's perfect because that's the title of our page. We don't want more than one H1 tag. I've got nine H2 tags and I've got 22 H3 tags. It's also showing us a link to the robots.txt file and to our XML sitemap file. So that is all good. If we scroll back up to the tabs above, we get more information on all of this info that we've just looked at. So if we click on the headings tab, for example, I get a detailed breakdown of all of the headings tags on this page. Even tells you exactly what those headings are. So for H1, for example, it's telling us our H1 heading is the best WordPress SEO plugin and toolkit. That is a great H1 heading and title for this page. You can dive in more and look at all of your headings. The next tab is about the links on this page tells me I have 106 total links on this page, 81 internal, 25 external, 63 unique. I can look at all of the links here on this page at a glance. If I just wanted to look at the external links on this page, I could click on that external links tab and check out just the external links. Same thing with internal, unique. I can also export all of the links. So if I'm on the all links tab and I do export, this is just going to export a CSV file of those links. I click that, you can see it in my status bar below. The next tab over is images. If I click on that, I get a deep dive on all of the images on this page. Again, if I click export, it's just gonna give me a CSV file with information about the images. It's not gonna export all of the images on this page. So I can see that there's 19 total images on this page and it's broken down by those with an alt tag, without an alt tag, with a title and without a title. You can also see those breakdowns by clicking on the tabs below. So I can see just with alt, just no alt, just with title, just no title, or all of them. 
And I can use this information to improve the SEO of my page. So just right off the bat here, I can see that I have a lot of images on this page without an alt tag. I want to go back and add an alt tag to those images. This would be a good place to start and get information on which images don't have an alt tag. The next tab speaks to the schema on this page. So if I click that tab, we can see all the different types of schema. This is pretty telling information because schema is not something you can see with the naked eye. You're not going to see schema as a human being looking at that page, but it's in the background and it gives more information to Google and can do things like score a rich snippet in search results, which can result in more traffic coming to your site. The next tab over is social. If I click on that tab, we can see information about the social markup that is hidden on this page. So we have open graph markup here and we have Twitter markup here. Open graph is mainly used by Facebook, but it's also used by LinkedIn and a couple of other social networks. So I can analyze the data that I have on Open Graph and on Twitter and make sure I'm communicating that information back to those social networks so that when my content is shared on Twitter, for example, I know that it's gonna look like this. I know this will be my Twitter description. I know this is the image that's gonna be used. And if I didn't have that information here, I could see very easily that it's missing. The last tab is tools. If I click on that, there's a bunch of free tools here that can give you more information about your page, including this advanced SEO analyzer put out by All-in-One SEO. If I click on that, it brings up our free SEO analyzer where you can analyze any URL and check out more information about its SEO. And there's a whole bunch of different tools available here. The last thing we see is the gear icon for the settings. If I click on that, I can choose to always highlight no follow links if I wanna do that. And we also have access to the all-in-one SEO plugin here. This is a free SEO plugin put out by us, all-in-one SEO. This is hands down the best SEO WordPress plugin available on the market today. So if you wanted to install all-in-one SEO right from the AIO SEO Analyzer Chrome extension, you just go ahead and click that big green button that says install free plugin, and it brings you to where you can install the all-in-one SEO plugin. So that's how to use the All-in-One SEO Chrome extension. If you don't already have our awesome All-in-One SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to integrate Facebook into your WordPress website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, all-in-one SEO.